Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Dell isn't a name that we cover that often. They don't do phones anymore, and well, their tablets tend to run Windows, but we tend to focus on iOS and Android. With the Venue 8 7000 though, they've reminded us that they aren't out for the count when it comes to Android. Not by a long stretch. First off, this is one of the thinnest, if not the thinnest Android tabs around at just six millimeters. Its design is slick, it looks unique, and it's got a Quad HD AMOLED panel on it. It also has a bunch of cameras loaded on board that feature Intel's RealSense technology. In English, it can measure stuff. In short, as codename as Venue 8 7000 sounds, it doesn't do justice to the awesome, cool tech inside. But is it good enough to buy? Well, design-wise, it certainly is. It's metal, it's thin, it's quirky looking, but not quite ugly, not really pretty, kind of ugly pretty, but it's a good looking slate. Head on the 8.4 inch display has teeny tiny bezels around the right top and left hand side. Down at the base is a front facing speaker as well as a front facing camera. It's a bit of a bulky portion, but we'll take bulky portion over rear facing speaker any day. There's also a micro SD card slot to the right hand side, a 3.5 mil jack and a micro USB connector at the base and the power button and volume rocker on the left hand side. Now if you thought the front was a bit weird, the back takes the biscuit. The camera, or should I say cameras, are all at the bottom of the tab. The main camera sits inside the glass panel at the bottom while there's also a glass strip above it for the two secondary cameras. This is all rounded off with a prominent Dell insignia on the back. Ergonomically it's thin, light and it feels expensive. The camera position is nothing short of annoying. I covered up the lens every time I came to take a picture. Still, for a brand I generally associate with bulky windows, tablets, and PCs, I am mega impressed. It isn't cheap, 320 pounds, but design-wise, it isn't the toughest sell out there. Neither is it when it comes to the screen. 8.4 inches of AMOLED technology at Quad HD resolution with a pixel density of 349 pixels per inch. Translated into human speak, you've got a medium-sized tablet with a very sharp display that showcases very deep blacks and very vibrant colors. It's very, very good, but it isn't quite perfect. Unlike the Samsung Galaxy Tab S 8.4, Dell's opted for more traditional AMOLED saturation and vibrancy. At max brightness, everything looks super, super punchy. And this kind of makes everything look awesome. But I'm talking about Lego movie awesome and not realistic awesome. Saturation, practically speaking, is about an 11 out of 10. And so this can make simple tones like, well, white or beige just look a little bit rose tinted, especially when the brightness is low. The only other down side to everything is how teeny tiny all the text is. This is because the screen is so, so sharp. But even when you change the default text to huge, as it's termed in the settings, it still might not be big enough for some people. Still, viewing angles are strong, pictures on the tablet look very, very impressive. And I'd say 99% of the time I was overjoyed staring at this thing. Now, how about the interface? Well, there's not too much to hate here. It's a pretty stock Android experience. What's even better is that it got the lollipop update just in the nick of time, specifically the day I recorded this review. A lot of the bloatware on board can be disabled. The pull down notifications bar has sound options, which you can turn off. You can also disable apps like McAfee as well, even if you can't completely uninstall them. One of the only things that can't be disabled are the Dellcast and My Dell options in the pull down bar. It's a shame about Dellcast as it's totally useless unless you've got Dellcast hardware. The My Dell option isn't too shabby though, as it gives you an insight as to what's going on in your tablet, which ultimately is pretty useful for most people. Otherwise, stock Android 5.0, pull down bar, various number of home screens and an applications tray. Moving on to multimedia and the Dell Venue 8 7000's camera setup is an interesting one. Featuring Intel's RealSense technology, it has three cameras around the back and one simple front-facing camera for video calls and selfies. Even stranger is the fact that all four cameras, like I mentioned earlier, are situated at the bottom of the slate. This resulted in my thumb making a cameo in virtually every picture I took, which was a real bugbear. The reason there are so many cameras on board is because it can capture perspective 
perspective information. So you can measure distances as well as blur out backgrounds. To do this, you have to hold the camera over a meter away from the subject and in portrait. Starting with pure image quality in great light, this tablet produces some amazing results. Saturated, well contrast, decent detail. There's very little better than having one of these when out and about on a sunny, sunny day. What's more, the screen's also viewable in sunlight, which is brilliant. Macro performance is also great outdoors or when the lighting is very, very good. Drop the lights though and the whole camera experience really is night and day. In spite of the fact that there are four cameras on this thing, there is not one single flash. Not only that, this is a terrible low light camera period. F 2.5 lens, no optical image stabilization. Mm. There's a lot of grain, there's a lot of noise. It just delivers unusable images as soon as you have anything but perfect lighting. Full HD video fares similarly. Great outdoors, terrible indoors. There's also no continuous autofocus, which is a massive bummer. As for Intel's RealSense tech, it tends to work well so long as you follow the instructions that it provides. This seems like a perfect thing for people into DIY construction or painting, for example. You can measure lines and you can also measure square footage too. Personally, I would have rather had one really good rear camera or even a flash on board rather than three cameras that did all this funky stuff. But you can see it as a very nice showcase for Intel's tech here. As for sound, the front facing speaker is really nice and loud, louder than the Nexus 9, but it's also a little bit shriller too. It's great for a few songs or a YouTube clip, but may not be perfect for a full movie. It's also worth noting that the grill attracts dirt pretty readily, so be careful to keep it clean. As far as video goes, Android paired with that screen means this is a marriage made in heaven. Netflix, Hulu if you're in the US, BBC iPlayer if you're in the UK, all look phenomenal. And obviously you can get a ton of codecs on here through the Google Play Store. As for using the Venue 8 7000 as an ebook reader, it's thin, comfortably light, and the screen is pin sharp. What more can you want? Gaming's also impressive. I was a bit concerned that the bezel at the bottom would make it uncomfortable, but it really wasn't too bad at all. Games like Modern Combat, Soul Calibur, a bunch of 2D fighters I installed on there played back very, very well. So as far as performance goes, there's very little left to be desired. Storage on the other hand is another issue. There's just 16 gig on board and only nine gigabytes user available. Sure, you've got micro SD expandability, but you can't install lots of games onto micro SD cards. So if you are getting this as a gaming tablet, be prepared to install and uninstall as you go along. We've also got a current gen 2.3 gigahertz Intel Atom processor, as well as two gig of RAM. This benchmarks around as well as the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, which is mega respectable. When it comes to connections, this is a relatively well-connected Wi-Fi tablet, but it doesn't have any extras. There's no NFC, no infrared blaster, for example. Finally, onto battery, and the 5,900 milliamp cell inside impressed me no end. The screen could stay on for hours and it wouldn't drain my battery dry like on a lot of other similarly sized tablets. Realistically speaking, you can expect easily two days out of this thing if you're using it pretty regularly. Perfect for a long haul flight, for example. What you're left with is a very impressive tablet from Dell with a relatively stock version of Android and some great multimedia features. It also looks quirky and has a killer screen and speaker. The main weaknesses come in the form of that camera and the lack of internal memory, and that's my real big one. But if neither of those two phase you, you can pick one of these up with confidence. Definitely gets a BTEC stamp of recommendation. So now we know that Dell's done well here. What are the alternatives? Well, you can check out a Samsung Galaxy Tab S 8.4 for a slightly better screen. As for iOS, the iPad mini with retina display, obviously, it's gonna give you an iOS experience at a similar size. I've been Basil with BTEC. Hopefully you've enjoyed my Dell Venue 8 7000 review. If you have, click that like button. If you like BTEC and wanna stay on top of all our videos, subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, then we get more subscribers and then we get cool tech in quicker and I get to share it with you sooner. Thanks for watching BTECT.